A World on the Edge, FBI Stark Warning on Terrorist Threats and Global Consequences. Hello and welcome. I am Jalani Tisfaye and this is News Analytica. In a world gripped by heightened tensions, the recent warning from the head of the FBI has far-reaching implications for the United States and beyond. Last week, FBI Director Christopher Wray testified before the Senate Judiciary Committee expressing unprecedented concern about the current terror threats level in the United States. According to Ray, there has never been a time during his decades-long career when so many threats against the U.S. were all as elevated as they are now. Ray also revealed that the Bureau is working around the clock to identify and disrupt potential attacks by individuals inspired by Hamas attacks on October 7. In addition, Ray shared that the FBI has disrupted over 40% more cyber operations and arrested over 60% more cyber criminals than the year before. In today's episode, we delve into the urgency behind these warnings, exploring the potential consequences of these elevated threats in a world already on edge. So, what does this mean for the safety and security of the United States and the rest of the world? In a time of global heightened tensions, a terrorist attack on the U.S. can quickly escalate into a global catastrophe. When ranking Republican member of the committee, Lindsey Graham asked Ray if he saw blinking red lights, referring to warning signs the U.S. missed before the attack of 9-11. Ray said, I see blinking lights everywhere I turn. According to the director, the war in Israel and the October 7 attack that sparked it are spurring an unprecedented number of online posts urging terrorist attacks in America. Ray says it hasn't been this bad since the days before 9-11. Adding to the complexity, Christine Abizad, director of the National Counterterrorism Center, told the Senate committee the United States is concerned by activity by Iran and Hezbollah in the Middle East that could have significant escalatory consequences. The specter of state-sponsored terrorism compounds the challenges faced by U.S. security agencies. Furthermore, an article published by the Washington Post this week details China's cyber army invading critical U.S. services. According to the article, hackers affiliated with China's People's Repression Army have infiltrated the computer systems of about two dozen critical entities over the past year. The intrusions are said to be part of a broader effort to sow panic and chaos or snarl logistics in the event of a U.S.-China conflict in the Pacific. The alleged victims range from a water utility in Hawaii to a major West Coast port and at least one oil and gas pipeline. The article also suggests that these cyber threats extend beyond the U.S., with several entities outside the U.S. also claimed to have been targeted. These developments unfold against a backdrop of the United States steadily amplifying its military presence around China and Iran. In recent years, the U.S. has significantly increased its military presence in the Arabian Gulf, a show of force primarily aimed at deterring Iran. In August, the U.S. deployed more than 3,000 troops and an aircraft carrier to the Gulf, alongside stealth 535 fighters and other warplanes to the Red Sea. Furthermore, following the outbreak of war between Israel and Hamas in October, the U.S. has further increased its military presence in the region, deploying two additional aircraft carrier strike groups as well as a range of fighter aircraft. Tensions between the United States and Iran have been steadily escalating since 2018, with the Israel-Hamas war adding more fuel to the fire. Simultaneously, tensions between the United States and China have been escalating over the past several years, especially in the last three years, Concerns about Chinese military activity around Taiwan and China's rapidly expanding nuclear arsenal have fueled the tension. The United States has also been building up its military presence in the South China Sea to deter China's increasingly assertive and expansionist behavior. In 2021, the US, Australia, and the UK formed AUKUS, a defense and security alliance aimed at confronting Chinese military expansion in the Indo-Pacific region. Earlier this year, the U.S. secured access to four additional military bases in the Philippines, in addition to the five bases it has under the Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement. And last month, the United States and the Philippines initiated joint air and maritime patrols in the South China Sea 
only about 200 kilometers from Taiwan. As we look at these geopolitical moves, the interconnectedness of global security challenge becomes increasingly evident. The strategic maneuvers in the Arabian Gulf, the heightened deployments in the wake of the Israel-Hamas war, and the ongoing geopolitical chess game in the South China Sea collectively paint a picture of intensified global rivalries. With this landscape of heightened tensions, a cyber or terrorist attack against the US could potentially ignite a wider global conflict. The delicate balance of power and strategic positioning of forces creates an environment where any such attack has the potential to not only aggravate existing tensions with Iran and China, but also act as a dangerous catalyst, pushing the world closer to the brink of a wider conflict. That is all for today. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more content on critical global issues.